Good morning everybody. It is Friday, Good Friday. I've got a day off. I've got four days off actually. Oh, I can't tell you. I can't tell you how wonderful that is. Um, excuse the mess. <laughs> last night's plates. I think my camera had an update last night and so it's not filming properly. It's only filming half the screen, which is incredibly annoying. I don't know whether that's going to change when I edit it. But at the moment, just giving you a heads up, that's why it's like it is. Just had my milk delivery. Very excited. I've got some Cheeky Panda toilet roll that was um, half price, I think. So that's cool. Some Cheeky Panda tissues. Um, don't think they were half price. Some Pure Nature organic low fat yogurt. Love this. Really good on banana pancakes. And three pints of milk. Love it, love it, love it. So I'm gonna make my breakfast. Uh, the weekend is packed. I'm painting the bedroom. You don't wanna see the mess. You do not wanna see the mess. I know you do wanna see the mess. You'll, you'll see the mess. I need to make my breakfast first though. That's better. I suddenly thought, check the settings. The settings had changed. It's so annoying when that happens, isn't it? When there's like an update. Uh, so, <laughs> here. Right, no on the pancakes. Shit coffee. Happy Easter. Look at that. I put in hot frothy milk in my shit coffee just to make it a little bit less rubbish. <laughs> and it's very nice. I'm addicted to these coffees. Sorry, sorry coffee connoisseurs. I know. It's rubbish. Makes it white hot, that's the only problem. Nana Pancake is cooking, so that's nice. What plans have you got this Easter? Have you got any plans? Not much to do, is there really? <laughs> I mean, you can meet people outside, I think. So that's quite nice. But obviously for the Easter break, the weather's turned. It's no longer hot. No. <laughs> My flat's looking like a jumble sale because I'm painting my bedroom as you know I'm painting my bedroom and um that's a bit close on it and uh it's I haven't had any time to prep anything so it's just a mess like I'm sort of doing it a bit a bit a bit at a time taking things out of the wardrobe gonna paint that wall and then I'm gonna have to shunt things around it's, it's a bit of it's gonna be a nightmare it's gonna be a nightmare but there we go once it's done it's done but it's going to be a nightmare. I think James is going to help me on Saturday and mm, not Monday. Well, maybe Monday. Uh, Sunday, we're going up to see mum and dad. So that will be nice. We shall be sitting in the cold garden again. Um, but any, it doesn't matter. It'll be nice. So to give you a sort of an example. Here's some things. And that is a fraction. I can tell you a fraction of what needs to be moved out of my bedroom but slowly slowly and all that so yeah I think my pancake might be burning mm. not a bad effort this morning not a bad effort thank you very much I uh, thank you very much okay this is the only shot that I'm going to show you of the mayhem that is about to begin in <clears throat> my bedroom because this this is how we paint when we have a one bedroom flat and too much stuff. Oh, that's all out of one wardrobe. That needs to, that needs to change. Everything needs to change. What a nightmare. I'm not gonna show you anything else. But I am going to start painting. And then when it dries, clearing all this rubbish. I really, really, really need to go minimal because this is driving me nuts. This is what we're going for. We're going for Dulux Walls and Ceilings Timeless Mat. And we are going to start and get this thing on the road. We have succeeded in first coat on this wall. And look at that, oh, a nightmare. And first coat on this wall. Those need to be filled. 
you can see the difference in colour there. So, it's coming on, it's coming on. Look at this nightmare. Done a few corners there. Work in progress. So, uh, apologies, but no makeup look today. And look, I've got paint all over me, over my sweatshirt, but it's old, so it's fine. I need to go out and get some more painting bits because... My roller tray doesn't fit the roller, it's too small. I need to get a small roller head for um, these bits because I don't like doing it with a brush. And I need to get another brush, I need to get some gloss paint for the doors. <sighs> so I've just had some lunch, so I'm feeling, you know, got fuel, I've got fuel in me. So I'm gonna take coffee with me because you could take coffee everywhere. You know, why not? took the curtains down and they're in the washing machine because they were grim i might not put them back up might get a blind but um there's no rush there's no rush just the rush is to get the room painted and then you can deal with the decoration you know the little bits of blinds and all that sort of stuff although i do need a blind f for sleepies <laughs> but you know we'll just see we'll just see hey the nq done got my bits paint stirrer, some sheets, some gloss paint for the doors and some rollers and trays. Oh, I think I've done two coats. I'm so over it. It's, uh, it's a bit patchy. I don't know if that's because it's still drying or if it's going to need three coats. I think it might need three, which is really annoying. <laughs> really annoying so i'm stopping the painting for today well i'm stopping the painting for now because i'm gonna move some stuff around try and tidy some things up well not tidy but move things around oh my god this is an absolute nightmare how have i got this much stuff in such a tiny flat it's just ridiculous absolutely ridiculous quite an interesting little find though this was one of my A-level art, oh, I've got the music on. This was one of my A-level art pieces. It's a bit weird. It's like a wooden man sitting on flower pots with some driftwood. So there you go. And it was in some sort of pastel, I think. I don't know what kind of pastel it was, but there you go. That <laughs> is a piece of A-level artwork. It's all right. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I don't really want to get rid of it. Anyway, the place is a tip. I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. Coffee. Tea. Biscuit tea. Progress report is um, pretty good. I've done pretty well. Um, so I've done um, two coats on that wall. I've done two coats on that wall. They need to be filled. I've done, started one coat on this wall. <laughs> so I've got this wall to do and yeah, that wall and half of that wall and yeah, half of that wall. So. I'm pretty pleased. I'm pleased with my progress. Ugh. Hopefully James can help me a bit more tomorrow. I'm just off to Martin Smith's to pick up something up to eat. I'm sleeping at James's, obviously. Because uh, that ain't going to happen. Is it? No. Off we go. It's freezing cold. <laughs> so here comes the cold weather they promised. Um, so I'm, you know, I'm wintered up. It's not good, is it? So anyway, it's quite good because if it was really, really nice weather, I'd be really annoyed that I was inside painting. So winner. So I'm going to go now, pick up some food, maybe a little chocolate treat and uh, head off to James. Put on a little bit of makeup, made a bit of an effort for him. I know. What's that all about? Vehicle, self drive, self start.
started by itself. Morning. Morning, yeah. The skirting chair. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do I do with them? Don't know, burn them. Um, ooh. <laughs> beautiful babbling brook we we're up near where mum and dad live and we found badger sets being quite can you see one there one there James is disturbing the whole badger set they're everywhere actually little badger sets you can see where they've come in and out Very cute. Hoping they're not going to come out and chase us because that would not be fun. Sorry, badgers. Look at that. Little badgers. They're everywhere. Oh, wow, look, more. I'm sure we shouldn't be walking all over these. Oh, more. Pheasant. It's like something out of um, the Hobbit. Mm. Your Hobbit's not badgers. Okay. Can you believe it's Easter Sunday? We've got weather like this. James is on his phone, as usual. Easter Sunday. And tomorrow it's forecast to snow everywhere in the UK. Yeah, I know it's weird, isn't it? <laughs> what? Smile. <laughs> oh, the hell! I thought you said I was going bald. It's this, no. sorry. I thought you meant I was going bald. No! This is so funny to over sitting on your head like that. Oh, <laughs> I must not make fun of me. <laughs> Come on. We have it. We're 45 and 49 respectively, come on. Never grow up, people. Never grow up. You should see it through someone else's side. Num -nums. Oh, look, he's on Facebook again. Facebook, Facebook, Facebook. Look at those weird looking daffs. While the grass grows underneath my feet. Like trumpets. Running out of time for so long. Hello, 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 Leo. Now I'm running out of so long. Hello, 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 Leo. Hope I got the time to tell you. Hello, this has to ruin it. Always has to ruin it. That's it. It's a child. I am back from work. It is Tuesday, the 6th of April, and Easter is over. <coughs> so back to work, but back to work on a half day. Woohoo! So that was good. Went really, really quickly as well. Uh, probably because I didn't stop. Anywho, yeah, I'm just about to get changed out of my work gear, but I've had some lunch and I'm going to show you the room, which has been painted. Uh, it's pretty messy already. Eh, it's okay. Uh, I should judge it, shouldn't I, before I show you? I should judge it. Yeah, let me judge it and then I'll show you. And then I'm yeah, going to show you a little purchase that I made from a little um, small business, which is really cute. And then I'm going to sign off the vlog. I'm not sure how good this vlog's going to be. It's been very bitty, but, uh, you know, uh, it's better than nothing, as I keep saying. Anyway, let me judge the bedroom and then I'll show you it. And 
there we go that's the bedroom it took oh some hard work i can tell you oh thank goodness for james because he was just a star he just helped me so much it was just just so hard <laughs> because the furniture all had to stay in here and it was just a nightmare getting around everything and literally my lounge was a jumble sale of stuff just on top of each other it was an absolute nightmare i had to sleep at james's this whole time so um, anyway the bed i have got one book by the bed i've decided all books have gone away some have gone to charity the ones i haven't read are under the bed in a box and one book is going to be out at any one time and i shall read that book and then another book will come out because i've got so many that needs reading and i just haven't you know i just scroll on the you know auto trader and all that sort of stuff instead so yes uh, and then i've just got a very few selection of um you know creams and lotions and potions and what have you uh down here is my awful um chest of drawers that needs sanding down and repainting and i need to go through that still because there's loads of rubbish in there and then here is my chest of drawers and i have decluttered the top of the chest of drawers i'm very very pleased with myself I have a nice plant, my little money plant, which it doesn't seem to be doing very well. So I'm hoping in here, maybe, maybe it will. And then in here, I've got a few more lotions and potions, moisturiser, deodorant and my asthma stuff, stuff like that. And then I've got a few things that I'd quite like up on the wall, but for the moment, they're just sat there. And um, there's just a few bits that I don't want to lose because these are my favourite necklaces. Uh, I need a new blind because it's covered in paint. That's fine. <laughs> And I had a massive blitz in the wardrobe as well. I'm going to show you inside the wardrobe. Yes, I am. I'm going to show you inside the wardrobe because that's how proud I am. Yes. Come with me. Dun, dun, dun. Right. This is my wardrobe. Okay. So I've got some jumpers at the top and scarves. Uh, scarves, jeans, some jumpers. And then these are my clothes. That's all I've got. In fact, they're... They're all scarves um, and then there's some trousers and some summery tops. And then they're my shoes. Far too many, probably, some would say, although probably not as many as others. So that's it, really. That's sort of everyday wear and tear, if you like. The other wardrobe I have. It's difficult to open this one because of the bed. I have mainly coats. Well, it's not that many coats. There's a few coats and there's some dresses that I don't ever have the opportunity to wear then so there's a few handbags and my summer duvet and that as they say is that i got rid of two huge bag loads uh big bin bag loads of clothes that i haven't i don't wear and don't need anymore so got rid of them it's looking looking pretty bare isn't it this wardrobe yes it's knackered <laughs> but um this was here when i moved in 13 years ago and uh you know don't see any need to change it really yes it needs a repaint um can i be bothered i'm not really sure but it's a perfectly good wardrobe that has stood the test of time in here uh this is a cabinet that was up on that wall um that i'm getting rid of i don't want that anymore and this <laughs> this just hides the water heater which is ugly but i need to get one that's slightly less garish now i think yeah so that's it that's my bedroom what do you think what do you think i would quite like to get a duvet cover that's a little less in your face maybe some greens you know some some nice calming aquas or greens you know something like that instead of the bright red which um it's all right it's okay it's okay so there you go. What do you think? Do you like? I hope you like. I like. I like a lot. I have bought something from a, a, a local, not a local business, a small business that I found on Instagram. And I just thought really, really nice things. I wanted to get a little extra present for somebody. That's the little thing it comes with. It's by a company called The Curious cactus which i think is very cute have a look at her instagram it's really cool thanks for supporting a small business you're worth it came with a little i think this is a sticker 
which says sending hedgehogs and then it also came with a little card that said i am figging cute and so this is my first purchase i i'm sort of addicted to whales i love whales and when i saw that she did a little wooden key ring i thought it was so beautiful so look here is my little wooden key ring how gorgeous is that and it says everything will be okay isn't it cute i really like that <laughs> and i saw these are presents but i don't really know which ones are until i open them so i'm gonna have to open them <sighs> I bought some stickers they are a set of hand cut stickers 100 percent recycled paper and compostable you will survive leaf and impression keep growing I really love books so that's going to be my um, motivation to get reading oh I did get two yeah I got one for me and one for someone else and this one is um, 2021 books I've read and then you colour in the books as you read them which I thought was a really good idea so I've got the whale for me and the books for somebody else it's in here <laughs> I've got two more stickers and I got Whales! I'm kind of obsessed. Whale stickers! Look how cute they are. Everything will be okay. So this this girl is an illustrator, so all of these are drawn by her and then printed. So cool. I love that. I got some cards as well because it's it's not often you come across cards that you really, really like. So I've got one called Sending you a cup of positivity, which I think is really beautiful, all hand drawn by a curious cactus and stamped. And I got this one for my sister in law's birthday, but unfortunately, it didn't get here in time. But that's fine, I can use it for somebody else, although it's too nice to use. <laughs> Have a whaley great birthday. I think that's, that's it, that's all I got. So, anyway, I thought just such a lovely lovely um products really so if you're looking for something a bit different uh, she's got lots more stuff lots more animals lots more key rings and stickers and bookmarks and all that sort of stuff um just really really liked it so if you fancy it it is the curious cactus on instagram check her out she's really good so there we go that's um that was my little my little shopping haul which is very cute and very small and now I'm going to uh, try and edit this all together and uh, then I've got to go to the supermarket and buy some food. I have already put on one pound over Easter, so that's not good. I've lost it a bit. I must admit the last two weeks I completely lost it, lost the plot. Just spoiled myself, ate lots of chocolate and stuff, but sometimes you need to just treat yourself, I think. So that's what I did. So, um, yes, so I'm going to sign off. I hope you all had a lovely Easter and um, I hope you're all staying safe and keeping well and we shall speak to you very, very soon. Big hugs, big kisses. <laughs>